This is Costa Rica, a beautiful Central American paradise between the Pacific and Atlantic to the west and east, and Panama and Nicaragua to the south and north. Fine sand beaches, surfing, and coastal resorts punctuate the Pacific coast, flanked by volcanoes and mountainous terrain. Costa Rica is also famous for the quality of extraordinary coffee produced by over 40,000 small growers across the country. High worldwide demand for the country's high quality, higher cost coffee makes it more profitable to export than supply the Costa Rica market, which means local demand must be met with low cost imports. Coffee is not only a valued export, but a passion here. The coffee, for those of us who are in this business and that have lived from it for such a long time, it's like in our blood. We have it deeply in our hearts. It's a life that we love. Coffee is 50-50 for us, 50% love and 50% passion. That describes everything we live with the coffee. Well, coffee has been very important in the economic development of this country. Since its beginning 200 years ago, Costa Rica has been producing coffee. However, logically, as the country moves forward towards its economic diversification, coffee has lost a lot of importance among the total value of exports. But it continues to be very important considering that more than 40,000 coffee producers are producing in this country. Premium coffee goes to the right side of the plant, lesser quality to the left. All the water used in the Beneficio is recirculated, so it does become a bit cloudy. But this process uses dramatically less water than in the past. At this stage, the coffee and honey are still encased by the fruit, so the water is simply a transportation vehicle with no effect on the coffee itself. Take a sample and we'll absorb all we can because the more air we can absorb with the coffee, the greater our impression in the palate will be and it will reach the olfaction area, the nasal part, faster. We'll absorb it and we'll keep it in the mouth. The micro mill business model has become popular with some coffee growers in Costa Rica, a revolution of sorts in the coffee business that started 20 years or so ago. Rather than belong to a co-op, some growers have begun doing everything, 